question to the elders and parents or not? That is the most important and difficult question. And nobody listens to the elders and the parents completely. I have also not listened. My father has also not listened. And my son is also not listening to me. But my sincere suggestion is, on the base of the experience, you listen to the elders, you respect them, but you need not follow them. Whatever they advise, whatever ideas they give, you think in terms of the ideas of your generation, your ideas of your friends and everybody, and then come to your own conclusions. Because even if you don't respect the ideas of the elders, even if you don't respect their uh, mental makeup, you have to respect their experience. You respect their experience, take their advice, think on your own, and then come to your conclusion and do whatever you want. But if you don't want to listen to the uh, elders or the parents, the only thing is you may not miss much in the terms of ideas. You may miss a lot of things in terms of their experience and wisdom. So for any youngster, wisdom and experience is also required. New energy is required. New ideas is required. So new ideas and uh, energy can come from your youth. But wisdom and experience can come from the parents and the elders, your teachers. So you have to evolve a combination of both to succeed in life. While doing this, you should never lose your uh, sense of wonder or uh, sense of uh, uh, innocence also. So you should always uh, retain this youthfulness and uh, restlessness and uh, wonder why the world is like this, why the people like this. Can't we change the world? That question should be always there even when you become 35, 40 or 50. If you lose, lose the sense of questioning and the sense of innocence, then probably uh, youth will be over early than it is uh, before 35 or 40. So listen to the elders, evaluate their advice in terms of your ideas, then follow it, but retain the sense of innocence and experience. And then you are all here to study the in engineering college. Many people, starting from Saram Mishweshwaraya and presently Narayan Murthy, Nandan Nilakini, Premji, Kiran Manjudar, Majumdar, and all these people whom you consider as the role models, they are all engineers that you should be proud. But if they were only mere engineers, you, they would have not achieved so much. Apart from having a basic qualification in their discipline like engineering or technology, all of them have become great because they have some idea as to how the society should be, how the education should be, how the industry should be, how the agriculture should be. So, recently you might have read in uh, newspapers that uh, one of the Google search engine was taken over by the two bright uh, youngsters. And they have taken it over at the age of 45. That is the distinction between the government work and the private work. In private work, which most of you will join as engineers, if you are hardworking, sincere and also a little lucky, you will rise to the top by the age of 45. Whereas in government servants, you have to wait till 60. You have the advantage of 15 years if you can really work. But for that, you should not be merely an engineer. You should equip yourself with ideas and information and original thinking about how society should be. You take the example of anybody like uh, Sarya Mishweshwaraya was only a diploma engineer those days in the beginning of 20th century. He was a Diwan of Mysore and he changed the entire shape of the Mysore because he had ideas for everything. He had ideas for the KRS Dam, he had ideas for uh, Mysore University, he had ideas for building a Badravati steel plant, he had ideas for Kannada Sahitya Parishad, bank, everything. So like that, if a mere engineering is not enough, you have to broaden your vision, then only you can contribute to the society. This, how you can develop this vision is the question. That is, you have to basically equip yourself uh, by thinking, what is my role as a citizen? What is my role in the job? What is my role in the organization? What is my role in the family? And another thing is, the society, the life and the world changes, goes on changing continuously and every moment. And you have to recognize this change and accept the change. If you don't recognize, accept and respond to the change, it becomes very difficult to grow either as an individual or as a family member or as a professional. So, throughout your life, you remember, only people who anticipate change, what change comes tomorrow, who accept the change, who respond to change, 
they themselves shape uh, very well and for this apart from literature you are, apart from the your engineering you should develop interest in humanities like uh, literature culture and uh, philosophy you need not go deep into it but you should know the broad outlines of it then only you will understand the society uh, uh, better and your vision will become broad and uh, you can respond to the lot of the aspects in life and your personality will grow your family will be better and your organization will also be better and as uh, professionals there is no other alternative but to develop a professional excellence but that professional excellence should be combined with a sense of ethics what is right what is wrong what is good for society what is good for maximum number of people in society and you have to think all these things fair minded also you should not follow any policy of cutthroat competition and another thing is as i said earlier the world changes continuously anticipate the change accept the change and go on upgrading your skills and knowledge don't become uh, static at any point of time a man who never grows is as good as a stone so you should always have that urge to recognize the stone respond to it and grow and it is not sufficient if you grow only as a individual you should all know how to work in a team because even if you are in a software unit you have to work in a team if you are in manufacturing you have to work in a team if you are in agriculture you have to work in a team for example your chairman has built this institution i don't think he will claim that he has built himself he might have involved the efforts of so many educationists planners students to build the institution like that you should know how to work in the team how to build the team also and as you grow you will get lot of subordinates to work with you you should also develop them a professional is considered successful only when he builds subordinates who are more intelligent and more original than them and only when the society develops when the nation develops you can develop don't think if i am a professional if i am an excellent person if i am having good education i can develop without society or without notion all our development it is a limit if the society dev doesn't develop if the nation does not develop so you should always think what i can contribute to the society how i can enlarge the life of the many citizens in the society and the nation and you should always remember that the technology may come the world may change but the basic values in life always remain same like uh, friendship loyalty to the parents loyalty to the institution commitment to the truthfulness commitment to the beauty respecting others these are all the basic values which will never change in the society and we should be having uh, great respect to these values and uh, one thing that is uh, most remarkable about the youngsters of the present generation is the way they take interest in extracurricular activities you take most of the music competitions all the and uh, any music program if you attend in bangalore city whether it is carnatic music or hindustani music or western music most of the people who are doing very well are youngsters from the technology sector and the software engineers they are also uh, leaders in philanthropy and uh, charitable work like uh, mr harish ande who got magasse award so and there are people like uh, mansi prasad who are excellent engineers and mbas and who are excellent uh, in music so with this the whole world is open to you you be a good engineer a good technocrat but develop your vision broaden your vision anticipate change and respond to the change upgrade your skills thereby you will be happy your family will be happy your institution will be proud of you you will contribute a lot to society and uh, one thing with the youngsters don't like is advice and listening to others i hope uh, you have given me some patience and i thank you very much thank you